Alright guys, a quick iMovie trick. If you delete, like, if, okay, if you're in your screen where you're trying to edit a video, and I'm going to do high rejected. Say I wanted to edit my video about my um, watermark. If I, but see, this is a clip that I didn't want. If I just hit the X to highlight the whole clip and then the delete key, that technically does not delete it. That only rejects it. So I was cleaning up my computer this morning and I'm like, why is my trash not in, or why is my trash not full or have something in it? Because I was deleting a whole bunch of clips. And turns out that's why. So when I click rejected, all the clips that I thought I was deleting were in here, which means it's taking up space on my computer. So what you have to do is you have to physically go in and move them to trash. Which is a little time consuming, but if you do it every single day, it is not as time consuming. I just wanted to share that tip with you guys in case you guys are using iMovie to edit your videos or if you're thinking about using it for the 31 days of YouTube because this is something that I did not know. Tip, if you're doing movies, invest in an external hard drive. I have a Seagate. And this hard drive is amazing. It's a two terabyte hard drive. I want to say it's like $100 at Best Buy. And I keep everything on here. Even things that I need to access sometimes. I mean, if it's something that I need to access all the time, I just save it on my computer on the cloud. But if it's something that I don't need to access every single day or need on the cloud, I'll just save it on my external because I can plug my external into my iMac and have access to it or I can plug it into my MacBook and have access to it so it's very versatile. Okay this may be one of my favorite day designer layouts that I've ever done. This washi tape was a gift from my friend Rebecca in Sweden. I don't know where I got the dot washi tape from. Heidi Swap online. Uh, me and my big ideas from Belinda Celine. Um, me and my big ideas. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby washi. Me and my big ideas, me and my big ideas, Belinda Celine, and my friend Rebecca. So what I have to do today is I've already uploaded my vlog. I need to do my Instagram picture still, and I'm running out of time. I need to leave for work, dinner, and then tonight we're going to watch Face Off, which is one of my favorite shows. It is the where they create um, special effects makeup. Love that show, and it's brand new, so... So what I need to do today is I need to work on my 31 days of YouTube is my number one thing. Uh, my content planning, my outfits of the day, my Instagram, my media kit, which is if I get to it. If I don't get to it, it's not a big deal. Again, this sticker is from Belinda Celine. My dream big. I need some motivation today. So I asked myself, where do I want to be next year? And I'm going to think about that all day. Just a little quote that I thought went with the kind of theme and then so thankful. I need to go take care of Kimber because she is yipping in her crate and is being annoying today. Hey guys, it is Wednesday morning. I just went and got my mail. This actually came yesterday. I should put it like this. Wow. actually came yesterday and I was just too lazy to check my mail. <laughs> I didn't think I had anything down there. But this is my replacement Ipsy bag. I, um... I had a product that leaked all over my bag last when I got it a week ago so and I told you guys about it so I am going to show you guys um, my replacement bag and see if they sent me the same things or if they sent me different things I've never had a full I can tell you right now it smells like it leaked all over again but it's the same bag Okay, the same sea salt spray that, again, has leaked all over everything. Like, what do they not understand? That this shit has leaked. Literally, like, look at my hands are wet. You see that? Uh, oh, so frustrating. And you guys, everything in this bag is wet. Again. For the second time. See that? I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick it up or not. But let's see how the bag is soaked all the way through. 
Yep. Wet. Tarte bronzer. You see, it's wet right there. Wet all over on the inside. Do you guys pick up on that? Oh, here. See my finger? And my finger is now wet. The product smells like it's totally soaked in it. And, and it doesn't even close again. Nail polish, the label is even ripped because it's so wet. I'm so pissed right now at Ipsy. I am so pissed. Same nail polish. And then also the lip balm in Ruby. Let's see if this is okay. I'm actually sitting on my mailbox. This doesn't appear that it's gotten wet or anything, so... God, I'm so, no, I don't know if you can see this or not in the camera because it's just from my phone, my box, even the bottom, wet. I am so disappointed in Ipsy, so absolutely just disappointed. My bag is like, feels wet to the touch. Ugh. So I'm going to contact Ipsy again. I'll let you guys know what they say, but I'm not a happy camper. And you guys know how much I love Ipsy, and I recommend Ipsy to a lot of people, but, I mean, this is unacceptable in my opinion. I know it's only $10, but this is now my second bag that I can't even use because it smells like this sea salt spray so bad. Like, that's all you smell is this perfumey. My nose is not wet even, too. That's all you smell is, like, this perfumey scent, so... Gosh darn it, but, you know, I really had high hopes. And my bag, like I said, is even like, I wish you guys could feel it. It's like damp to the touch. And I mean, and I know we're like raining here, but I'll even show you guys my mailboxes. These are my mailboxes. I don't know if you can see them or not. They're fully protected. So it's not like, um, you know, they're sitting out in the open or anything. It's literally, they're, they're very protected. So I guess I'm just still, like a little frustrated and disappointed that Ipsy did. Oop, here comes a trash truck. Wait for that. I guess I'm just like a little disappointed. So I'm gonna contact Ipsy again today and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll let you know the saga of Ipsy in my July bag that, you know, the products are great and I wanna use them, but I can't use them if they're soaked in a sea salt spray because there's no way in hell I'm going to put anything that has salt near my face or my eyes. Ugh, so frustrating. So I was sitting here in my office and I have been, you guys know for like the last like week and a half, I guess, I've been having like pretty serious anxiety and today I'm like super duper duper anxious. Um, I'm totally overwhelmed. I feel like a little beat down, so to speak. But I feel different now. And let me tell you why. I've been so busy with work and my own, you know, side hustle, which is my blog and YouTube channel. I feel like I'm being pulled in a million different ways. The only way that I want to be pulled in is the way to my blog and my YouTube channel. I've had such a such an amazing experience with the 31 days of YouTube that I've been doing before it's even started and I I don't want to say this my hair is awesome today by the way look at that girl boss I was aggravated this morning because I forgot my makeup bag at home I didn't get enough done before I came into the office it took me over an hour to get into the office today it's just been, and then my phone won't quit ringing at work. For some reason, Sirius Satellite gave people in Canada my 800 number for my office. So I keep getting people from Canada calling, asking me if I will activate their Sirius radio. Not their fault, it's Sirius's fault. But anyways, 
it's just been like one of those times in my life I guess where I am I think I finally found what I want to do and I don't know if you guys know this or not but I Brett is a wonderful man he's an amazing man I don't get enough support from him on a entrepreneurial side and here's what I mean by that I don't like working for somebody I've told you guys this before Stan is awesome my my job is awesome but this I just don't think it's for me and I've talked to Brett about this and he gives me like no support meaning like I don't want he's not like cold like you can't do this or anything like that but it's just like it's not his interest does that make sense like it's not that he's a bad person or a bad man or anything like that it's just not um he likes the money that I'm making at my job and his concern is living comfortably which I get I understand and that's my concern too which is why I haven't left my job but it's like I don't get that support from him meaning I just don't think he really like cares about my blog or anything like that which is fine he doesn't have to so I kind of felt like for the last it's like a year honestly you guys that I've kind of been like doing this by myself and doing this on my own and figuring things out myself and it wasn't until I started watching a youtuber named Miss Trenchcoat which totally totally changed my attitude on things and I through Miss Trenchcoat I met my friend Mimi who she's been really busy too so we haven't talked as much but it's like you know she's another girl boss and then through Miss Trenchcoat I met Anne Samoyloff. And did I pronounce your name right? Gosh, I'm so sorry. But I didn't. I can't put into words what Anne has done for me this week. I am on Periscope and every single morning she posts um, top three things that she's going to do. And then she invites people to share their top three things. She rocks. Like Anne is amazing. I was on, I've been on her scopes like every single morning and just listening to like another female entrepreneur that is just kicking ass makes me feel so much better and it makes me feel like I have a support system. Through Anne, I've met Hillary Rubin, who is another coach. And her scopes every single day, her intentions, like I have never truly thought about my intentions until I started watching Hillary Scopes. Mind blown. Like, I can't even, of all the stuff that I do, and the blogging, and the YouTube, and the work, and, you know, this and that, and the planning, and the Instagram, and the Twitter, and the, you know, everything I do, I'm a very, very, very busy girl. Rarely am I not working on something, which is fine, because, you know, my YouTube and my blog are my passion. But I finally have felt like I have found my tribe so to speak of other women who are girl bosses who are making names for themselves doing amazing things and I finally feel like now I have that support system and I don't think it is a bad thing when your husband doesn't support when your husband can't be your support system, I guess if that makes sense. That's, that would never be a reason why I would divorce Brett or anything like that. I mean, it's not, that's not detrimental to my marriage because we don't have kids, we have dogs. So it's not like, you know, I'm needed to stay home with kids or he's needed to stay home with kids. We both have ambitions and dreams and goals. I just think that they're a little bit different, which is which is okay. I mean, he works. You, I've told you guys what he does before. Um, I don't really. I want to quit mentioning what he does because of all of the negative media, not about 
Brett himself, but about his job. I want you guys to know him for the man that he is and not what he does for a living. So I'm going to kind of change focus on that a little bit. And it's nothing like no one did anything, nothing like that. It's just the media side of it. So I know you guys understand. But like, so Brett and I like aren't getting divorced or anything like that. Or, or I'm not like upset at Brett for not being my support system. All I'm saying is that if you feel like I did a year ago up until what, an hour ago, 45 minutes ago when Hillary ended her call or her scope, maybe instead of dwelling on, on your husband not being your support system, find a bunch of girl bosses who are your support system. Because just because your husband isn't supportive of your dreams, maybe there's a reason for that. The reason why Brett, I don't think, is, is as supportive as for me becoming fully self-employed is it scares him not having consistent income. I get it. I understand. It scares me, too. He's always, always had consistent income and worked for his job. Um... He's always had that. So all he needs to do is just retire. Like that's what his goal is. And that's not my goal. My goal is to become a badass girl boss. And he doesn't really get that or really understand that. And it's just two different people, two different opinions, whatever, but we can still love each other. And Sorry, the reason why I'm looking this way is because there's a hummingbird that just, like, keeps flying at my window and just flapping his wings at me. Awkward. But, so, no, I mean, Brett and I aren't, like, divorcing or at each other's throats or anything like that. Um, what actually is just going on is I just want to tell you guys that I think I've, like, found, you know, my tribe, so to speak. And I want to empower you that if you're kind of going through the same thing, try to find a tribe. Find... The people, doesn't have to be women, doesn't have to be men, you know, find the people, whomever, that really motivate you and get you focused and get you on track. Because I have a really bad problem. When I get overwhelmed, I shut down. I'm like, I'm done. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to do this. And then I shut down. That's so hard. And that's also part of anxiety. Talking to her, watching Hillary scope and, you know, conversing back and forth with her via scope and she was talking about intentions and when you are feeling overwhelmed that the only thing that really is in the present is your body. And she did this, you know, tapping thing to remind you that you are in the present. And at first when she did it, I was like, really? And then I got a call from a client that was being a pain. And I put my phone on mute. I really did. And I, like, hugged myself and patted myself. And goodness gracious, it actually freaking fracking worked. It kind of snapped me out of the anger that I was having. So, really interesting kind of change of events here in Mandyland. I... I'm really excited. I, I really am. And I'm more motivated now, I think, than ever to really get focused and work on some of this stuff. You know, someone else that has been a great influence on me has been Miss Trenchcoat. I'm thinking about here, probably in September is when I'm thinking about doing it, contacting her to get on her Building an Empire uh, coaching classes. And she has one that's the architect which is basically like her taking her time and you know helping you become a badass so that's what i'm thinking about doing i'm also going to look into because Anne does a lot of launching and i'm going to be doing some launching so i'm thinking about possibly investing in some things with her because i just think like these are the type of women that fit my personality and my goals and things like that so I just like honestly you guys and I know because I've got a couple comments about you know I haven't been on Instagram as much 
I haven't been replying to comments as quickly and I haven't been replying to my YouTube videos as quickly. That's kind of why, because I've kind of just been like, <sighs> but I'm no longer, <sighs> I'm in like ass kicking mode now. So, um, you know, thank you guys for bearing with me and for being my friends and motivating me. It, it this is what I love to do and you know starting that 31 days of YouTube was super scary to me because like what if no one wants to participate but I had like the day I posted it I had like five people that want to participate in it so I'm super duper duper excited oh, my nose. super duper duper excited about that and I'm like I'm gonna rock this for you guys because I think honestly YouTube and social media, especially video social media, is kind of, it, that's kind of where my passion is moving into. So, uh, I'm like, my brain is going like a million miles a minute right now because I have so many thoughts in my head, but I need to focus on work today. So I'm not going to do like any business stuff until I get home. I'm, yeah. Also, like, my face. I didn't wear any makeup today. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. My face is not happy. I used, um, see it on my nose, too. I used a new cleanser. My face just feels, like, super duper duper red. So, I'm going to go back to, like, gentle stuff for a while. But, yeah, my face is, and, like, right here. I don't know. It's, like, really dry, too. And red and angry but my brows are on point so I did okay so today for my top three I these are still impending and I'm gonna be working on them tomorrow but I did get my vlog up I got my script done for my videos and my shot list done for the videos and then on my blog post for the first day I got the content part done once I get this done and I see how I want to set it up I should be able to um, fly through and the, the rest of the content so like that it's just getting it set up how I want to which is taking a little bit more time but I did work on content for August I did not do any scoping today I was just too busy at the office and then when I got home um it's been raining here pretty hard so I didn't have light like at all today I didn't really post an outfit of the day on Instagram my Instagram sneak peek I didn't do today I didn't do my worth of splurge, splurge on Instagram I did clean out my iMovie I didn't work on my media kit. I also answered the question of where do I want to be next year and I said helping others oops, and empowering. So thankful for the scopes today. Um, specifically my friend Anne. Um, her inviting me to some of these scopes that I really 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 needed to hear today. So Anne, Jessica, Alexis, Hillary just like rocked my day. So that is kind of how my day ended up. I'm going to get this vlog edited tonight and upload it while I sleep and then we'll start today or tomorrow on this side which I need to decorate but I'm still like loving the spread I just think it's like the cutest I think I just love I love how I uh, the reason why I love this day designer so much is because I can make it cute and make it very Mandy Jean and like do different layouts in it and things like that but it's also practical where I'm still writing everything down that I need to get down. Hey guys, I'm going to keep this really kind of quick and brief because one, I'm getting ready for bed. I'm actually in my jammies. But I wanted to tell you guys something today that Miss Trenchcoat, which you guys know is one of my favorite vloggers and productivity gurus, announced on August 15th, which is my birthday, she's having a live productivity and planning webinar. So if you go to strangecharm.com, click on her shop, and then click on live events, you will see it. She is going to have um, exclusive productivity sheets and stuff like that that she's created specifically for this. It is $30, it is limited seating, and I believe the seating closes like the second at midnight. But go to her website, check it out. I'm going to attend. Um, honestly, if it wouldn't have been for Miss Trenchcoat today announcing this, I would have never known my PayPal account was hacked. So I've been dealing with that pretty much all night, which is no fun. But so, but I wanted to tell you guys about that because, I mean, 
I'm super excited about it. I think her content is going to be great. Gosh, this iPhone is so heavy. But before I go to bed, I want to tell you guys about this. I even have like my bed head on and pulling the yard. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.